curious. This is uh, you waited a little bit longer for this than the average guy we've been talking to. Uh, what what is it like to be kind of? I mean, I know you've played with guys who are younger than you a lot, and I'm sure you've gotten this question before. But what's it like to be going through this circuit kind of at a at a at a later time in your life? So it's amazing, man. I'm having fun. Uh, that's all I can say. I'm having fun. Uh, it's a great opportunity. It's amazing. So I'm really happy. And and you you really excelled as a three point shooter and and kind of a defender. And the book on you is is someone who could be a reliable three and D wing. Obviously, this this team could could use somebody like that. How how do you see how would you see yourself fitting into the Wizards roster? Uh, I see I see I see myself in the uh, in the Wizard roster very very well. Besides. Uh, uh, Bradley Bill and Russell Westbrook. Uh, I see myself helping the team uh, with my shot preparation and uh, off the ball defensively, uh, playing with Bradley Bill and Westbrook, like I said. So that's how I see myself playing. Chase. Hey, Chris, uh, you made a huge improvement in your shooting percentages from last season to this season in Oregon. Uh, just what led to that? How were you able to make such a leap? Hard work, hard work, a lot of hard work, uh, day in and day out, a lot of reps, uh, you know, for sure, confidence, um, and just trust from the coaches and, and, my, and myself, you know. And uh, which teams do you have workout scheduled with after this? Uh, okay, see, and then uh, uh, got New Orleans. Neil. Hey, Chris, can you just compare and contrast a little bit what a solo workout is like compared to maybe a three on three pre draft workout? It's different, you know, I like it. Uh, I've been through both now, and I like both. So it's all a workout, you know, a lot of more shots, a lot of more running. They want to see if you, you know, good conditioning wise, if you make shots, uh, handling the ball. They want to see how you think. Uh, they want to see you as a person. So it, it, it's different. And I'm not sure if you've had a chance to talk to Tommy Shepard or the Wizards front office yet, but what has been the overall kind of feedback that the NBA has been giving you so far throughout this process? It's been good. You know, uh, everybody's uh, liked my workout so far. Uh, yeah, I spoke to Tommy Shepard in the front office uh, and I got some good feedback. Uh, looking forward to it. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Thanks, Chris. Good luck the rest of the way. Thank you. EA. Chris, how are you, sir? How are you, David? I'm good. I'm good. Um, I wonder what, um, when you entered last season, what um, Coach Altman spoke to you about in terms of, you know, getting you ready for the next step and the things that you all worked on uh, at, with the staff this year at Oregon to kind of get you ready for this. Well, Coach Dana, uh, you know, I'm always talking to him. We talk every day almost. Uh, he's always telling me, you know, stay ready. Uh, you know, making sure I'm in good shape, you know, the best shape I can be. Uh, just keep doing what I did in Oregon, you know, keep doing what, you know, got me here. So that's, that's his advice from me, you know, keep doing the things, the good things on and off the court uh, and keep working on my game. So that's our advice that he's been giving me. Were, were there things that, that coach let you work on, you know, during the season last year to kind of get you ready for this? Did he give you more freedom to do things out on the floor? Yeah, for sure. Especially ones uh, when we were reaching someone down, you know, uh, I had a little, you know, a bigger role. Yeah. We were reaching someone down and failing went down. So, you know, I had a bigger role. So now from playing off the ball, I had to jump, you know, playing with the ball now 
making play for my teammates, you know, being being more a leader and just, you know, trying to win games. Right. Thank you. Matt. Hey Chris, was there anything unique that the Wizards put you through compared to other workouts you've been through, uh, whether it was a unique drill or, or anything kind of different that they tested that other teams didn't didn't look at? Yes, yes. Uh just uh, seeing how how I think, you know, uh, I was out there like a coach, you know, drawing plays. Uh, <laughs> uh, just they they just want to see how I think, you know, as a player, on and off the court. So uh, a lot of shots, uh, a lot of running, uh, and they just want to see how I am, how I am as a person.